Kevin Page coming up, brother. Good job, sick. AI filmmaking in the NFT space. All right, my friend. You got it, Holmes. Take it. Hi, everybody. My name is Kevin Page. I am an NFT artist with a special interest in artificial intelligence generated and artificial intelligence enhanced artwork, or more commonly known as AI art. Okay. Let's see how this thing works. So I'd like to uh, take you on an adventure for the next few minutes into NFT space where we will discover an NFT native film format that brings the power of artificial intelligence into the hands of independent producers. Um, so NFT space is its own dimension. Uh, it just operates differently than real life space. NFT space has its own rules, its own uh, physics, its own time. So for instance, I came into NFT space in January of 2021, so technically I've been here eight and a half years. They laugh. Uh, so here's the thing, it's hard for me to personally conceptualize trying to conceive of, uh, well, no, I'm ahead of myself. That's why. So when you enter NFT space, you need to orient yourself in a certain way, and in real life, posture just won't work there. You need to take events as they come, and in whatever order they come in, and finally, you need to set the stage of your mind for discovery because, again, this is a totally different dimension of reality. So I bring all this up because uh, I have a background in the entertainment industry. I have a background as a filmmaker and an artist. And so you might think that I would come into NFT space with cer certain preconceived notions or workflows or ideas. And indeed, you're right. I do, and so do all of you. Everybody does. But if you recall what I said, uh, you have to orient yourself in a certain way. You have to take things as they come, and you have to set the stage of your mind for discovery. And if you've actually done all of that, then of course you're going to use every tool at your disposal to deal with a new dimension of reality. Hold the microphone closer to your mouth, please. I just heard from God. I'm not going to say something that may not be very popular. There are no two-hour movie theaters in NFT space. Uh, there really aren't any 30-minute episodic shows in NFT space. And if you want to know the truth, there's really not that many one-minute shows in NFT space because 30 seconds is a pretty big bite of content in NFT space. So it's hard for me to try to conceive of developing a two-hour format or even a 30 minute episodic format specifically for NFT space. I think there's a disconnect there and that will be solved at some point in time, but I'm talking about today, right now at NFT NYC 2022. Yeah, let me move on. So, That's the actual alpha from today, right? Because, for one thing, it eliminates an awfully lot of possibilities. It cuts it down to a form that will work in 30 seconds to two minutes. Uh, and interestingly enough, most of the filmmakers I know are not really spending a lot of time thinking about this micro-length film format. Uh, I think most people are trying to figure out how to ex you know, extract liquidity from the uh, crypto and NFT markets and put that into tr traditional fan film financing, uh, which I think is great uh, and, and that's terrific. But what I found in NFT space was this idea that an NFT native form of film would follow those time constraints. An NFT native sort of film would, would fit within the time constraints imposed by the major platform. So it's a technological limitation of about two to two and a half minutes. That's the micro-length film uh, format that I'm trying to talk about. 
Uh, so the thing that's most interesting, I guess, about what I do is I use artificial intelligence as part of my filmmaking process. It's in, it's in the workflow. Uh, and one of the things we've recently been able to do in the last six months or so is start to use live actors in artificial intelligence generated imagery. And so uh, this is a trailer I'm gonna show you now of a, of a piece we're about ready to drop. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the show. The world ended a lot faster than you would have thought. Everybody had to fight to survive. Not everyone made it through the first wave. And then, there were the monsters. Okay. I have a few minutes left. Uh, I didn't really get to all the pieces, uh, but I thought that the example probably said it a little bit better than I could. Uh, so that the ability or the capacity to actually make films like this really only emerged uh, in the last six months, maybe, I think I said. Uh, and part of what's going on in the AI NFT space and that defines AI NFT filmmaking from almost anything else is traditional filmmakers are now able to use these AI uh, algorithms as their cinematography departments and in their other creative departments. So I actually have, an, uh, a, I have a relationship with an AI that is writing scripts for, very, for our micro-length films. Uh, and the idea is to open a production office in Los Angeles to start hiring some movie stars and give them a much better deal than they would get in a union production because I'll split it 50-50. That's just how we do it in NFT land. Am I still vamping? You got 30 seconds, brother. So, um, hell, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we're really working hard to try to figure out how we can bring what we've developed in this micro-length film uh, format to more traditional types of content, more traditional types of, of distribution. And so uh, that's kind of why we're going to open up in Hollywood and see what happens. It's AI NFT time. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. That was excellent. Oh my gosh, that was incredible.